Would you believe me if I told you all of this food is from McDonald's? Today we are in Orlando, Florida on International Drive checking out the world's largest McDonald's. <laughs> Located about 15 minutes from Disney and five minutes from Universal, this epic McD's is a travel destination in itself. With a giant play area, more arcade games than a boardwalk, a fish tank, old animatronics, and more. But that's not even the best part of coming to this McDonald's. It's all of the unique food. So let's head inside and check it out. It is a very busy day here at McDonald's, but the first thing I noticed when I walked in had to be the pizza oven. And pizza is just one of the unique foods that they serve at this McDonald's, but we're gonna get into the menu right away. After I show you guys all of the food that they have here and we try some of it, I'll take you guys upstairs and show you guys all the other fun stuff. Let's take a look at the menu with all of the stuff that we can order here. Welcome back. I'm in. Gotta get all those uh, rewards here. Look how many points I have. 5,740. No one steal them. <laughs> Okay, but let's take a look at all the stuff that we can get here. Okay, so of course we've got the sandwiches here, but the main events that we have to choose from are pasta, pizza, and they also have a Philly cheesesteak. Of course, they have all of the classics as well to choose from, chicken sandwiches, uh, burgers, all that stuff. We're definitely gonna get some of this stuff. I think let's start with the pasta. Let's look at our pasta options here. Um, so you can kind of like customize it. Um, you could choose the toppings. Onions, peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, jalapeno, broccoli. Let's do some broccoli in there. I like some broccoli in my pasta. Out of Canadian bacon. You could also add uh, McCrispy chicken filet. Let's just do like, uh, what do you think? Just, just broccoli? How do we uh, go to the next? How do we save our sauce? Oh, here we go, you select our pasta. I think I wanna do ravioli. I kinda wanna try like McDonald's ravioli. That sounds really interesting, so let's go with that. And we can choose marinara, olive oil and garlic, bolognese, Alfredo and pesto. Let's do pesto. Let's do a little pesto rav. Pesto rav situation. Add to order. Item added to bag. How much was that? I love. $13.29, that's honestly not bad for a, for a bowl of pasta. Now let's pick our pizza. We gotta get the pizza here. Um, should we get sausage? I feel like we should get pepperoni, right? That's a classic. Let's get pep. Let's get some peppers and onions. How does that sound? Should we get pineapple? No. Okay, we won't get it. I don't know if I like pineapple on pizza. I'm kind of indifferent. You want spinach? No, no spinach. Let's do regular pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese. And that's our pizza. We got pepperoni oh my god they're charging 349 for some pep but we got pepperoni onions green peppers pizza sauce and mozz cheese add to order let's do it cheesesteak we got to get a cheesesteak um item only also fun fact the first time i ever came to this mcdonald's i tried a cheesesteak and i ate mayo on accident it was my last time eating mayo um, I accidentally ate it because who the heck puts mayo on a cheesesteak? I didn't know it was on there. But this time I know, no mayo. It comes with lettuce, tomato, cheese, and they're out of steak. How are they out of steak? But I could get it. We could add bacon, jalapenos. Should we add jalapenos? No? You okay. Want to if you go for it. Yeah, let's add some jalapenos. We'll do light, we'll do light. Save changes. Add to order. Okay, so that's it for the unique food. Now I did want to get something else here that I have never ever tried before that is an iconic menu item and is very popular these days. I've never tried a filet o fish So today is the day. We've got to customize it to take that tartar sauce off, of course. And yeah, this is going to be my first time trying a filet o fish What better place to try a filet o fish than at the Epic McD's? And if you guys think I'm just saying Epic McD's just to say I'm not, that's actually what they call this place. And it's actually advertised around the restaurant as that. So um, interesting choice. But I've got my filet fish in there now. What else should we check out? They have really weird breakfast items. They also have the spicy McNuggets, the regular nuggets. And something that Ryan told me that I did not know that they did here is all day breakfast. All day breakfast, but they are out of stock of everything. So um, maybe they don't. 
Did you lie to me? <laughs> it says all day breakfast. It does say all day breakfast, but everything is out of stock. What is going on? I have to come back. Well, I guess they lied to me. Um, I've been lied to, and I'm kind of upset and hurt about it. But they have all the regular breakfast sandwiches. And then, guys, look at this. You can make your own omelets here. They also have Belgian waffles and a ham and cheese French toast sandwich. If they had all this, I would have gotten an omelet, I would have gotten a Belgian waffle, and I would have gotten that French toast sandwich. And fun fact, Egg McMuffins are actually my favorite fast food item as a whole ever. Egg McMuffins are the goat, so we can't get one today, unfortunately. Um, but we are going to get some more stuff. I have to look at what else. We are going to come back for dessert. I think we're going to order this next time around. But look at all this different dessert that they have. They have chocolate corruption cake, cheesecake, peanut butter explosion cake. Ryan would love that. They have waffle cones here. All of the McFlurries and sundaes and shakes and cookies and pies. Guava and cream pie. Interesting. Okay. All this looks good. We're going to order this later. Um, but what else should we order here? Should we try some of the spicy nuggets? Let's do a little combo because I was going to get a drink anyway. Sweet and sour always. Diet Coke. Where's the DC? Ain't nothing hit like a... Uh, nothing hits like a uh, McDonald's Diet Coke. Also, oh, that comes with fries. What else? Should we see if they have anything else? I think that's it, pretty much. They have a pepper packet. Side of Get that out. And now we wait. And from the stuff that I've seen online about this place, we might be waiting for quite a long time for all of our food, especially since we ordered so much. Well, 10 out of 10 for service because after eight minutes and 47 seconds, our food has already arrived at the table. Okay, all of this food is looking really, really good, especially the pizza. This looks fantastic. We actually decided to get it with pepperoni, green peppers, and onions, and it has a nice little char on there. We got the red sauce, the mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna go for, actually I'm gonna go for this piece here. It's like extra charred on the side. I am so excited to try this out. It has a really nice crust, really crispy. Not cut the best, but no cheese pull there. But let's see how this tastes. Honestly, that's fire. For pizza in Orlando, it honestly, it doesn't get much better than this, I hate to tell you. And this is really good. The crust is nice and like buttery almost. Good amount of cheese, good amount of sauce. The sauce has a really good like sweet flavor. Plenty of peppers, plenty of onions on there. But the best part has got to be that crust with the char on there. Let's get a char bite. Chopping's falling out. That's at least a 7 out of 10. Now, I don't know if Kristen was right when she said some of the best pizza in Orlando because there's some Orlando pizza spots that she has not been to yet that I need to take her to in the near future. This is pretty good. I mean, it's solid. I think it tastes a lot closer to cafeteria pizza than she's saying. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. It's fine. It's like cruise ship pizza. That's what it is. And cruise ship pizza is delicious. So I don't know what Ryan's talking about over there, but they do have those brick ovens, right? When you walk in, they are cooking up these pizzas, very fresh. And I like how crispy they are. That's that's really what makes a pizza for me. I don't like a floppy crust. As as Nate would say, it's gotta have a good undercarriage. That's, that's his favorite thing to talk uh -huh. about when it comes to pizza. And this pizza definitely has a good undercarriage. So two thumbs up for me. Pizza was delicious. Now let's move on to this pasta, which they are also cooking up fresh. Over back by the pizza area, they have like pans going and they're tossing in all the ingredients, the sauces. They really are making all this stuff fresh. And this is served in a real bowl. This is a real bowl. This is no plastic here. And we've got a real fork at a McDonald's. I decided to go with the ravioli, the pesto, and some broccoli. There is not much broccoli in there, but I do gotta say, this looks, this looks pretty good. Let's try a piece here, a little bit of broccoli. I got the pesto sauce. Smells pesto-y. There's definitely not a lot of sauce on there. It needs quite a bit more. It's kind of like dry. Um, you can also definitely tell that the ravioli has been frozen. 
Um, this one actually looks better because it looks like it has a lot more sauce. It's not amazing, not as good as the pizza, but still for like fast food pasta, I think this was only what, like $13 max. This isn't a bad portion and it's definitely pretty good. I enjoy raviolis, I enjoy frozen raviolis. So I do like this. I also love the, the little touch of parsley around the outside to make it a little fancy. Um, not the best, but also not bad. You know, one thing that Kristen did not do is get some of that bread. Do you see that bread? Doesn't it look so good? Oh, I gotta try this. I'm 90% sure this is from Costco. Costco has a ravioli very, very similar to this. And that's not a bad thing. I love Costco. There's a lot more add-ons that we did not select when on that like main menu screen. So I believe if you like added chicken, you added the broccoli, obviously, some more toppings in there, it would make it a lot better of a dish. And definitely a lot more worth the like $13. But then I think you would add more on every single item you add in there. So it, you could end up with a, a $30 dish if you really want. <laughs> the lady behind us got pasta with cavatappi, alfredo, broccoli, and the McCrispy chicken patty. And let me tell you, I think we messed up when we ordered the pasta because that looks really good. Way better than ours. Ours wasn't bad, but that just looks a lot better. Okay, next up, this cheese steak. So the roll looks more of like a hot dog bun. Um, we've got our steak in there. Honestly, at first, Ryan walked over and he's like, there is no steak in our cheese steak. And it did look like there was none because if you just put it like that, you can't see the steak. But it is hidden in there. I added some jalapenos on here. I wish they had peppers and onions. Okay, so there are some like red peppers and onions in there. It's actually adds a really good flavor. I wish there was a little bit more melty cheese and I wish this roll was like a little nicer. Like this is really just like a hot dog one. It's not a quality roll, um, but the flavor is really good. Honestly, I feel like anything McDonald's puts out is gonna be good. And this is no different here. It has a good onion flavor, a good pepper flavor, and I think adding the jalapenos was definitely the right move. All right, Ryan, I wanna see you go into this cheese steak here. You gotta mic this up, I'm gonna make lots of noise. Mic up, ASMR. Um, mm. That's some tasty cheese steak. Um, this tastes exactly like if McDonald's made a cheesesteak. What a surprise. <laughs> I know that's probably the, not the type of review that anybody's looking for, but that's an honest an honest take on this. I, I did miss some of the, let me. Um, oh, Let's no. wash down all of our unique McDonald's foods uh, with an ice cold DC. Ah, so crisp. Okay, like I said, we have finished eating all of the unique food items here at the Epic McDee's, and now it is time to try a classic McDonald's menu item that I have never tried before. This is history going down here. My first time ever trying a filet o fish The fish patty is not as crispy as I would like it to be. The flavor is really good. It's just really, really soggy, the fish patty here. I also got it without tartar sauce, obviously. They only put like a little bit of cheese. I wish there was more cheese. It could use like a slice of cheese on top as well. It's very dry because it doesn't have tartar, but I do have something that will make this better. Sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's is like one of my favorite things ever. This is the greatest like fast food sauce. Better than all these Chick-fil-A sauces you guys see. McDonald's sweet and sour is where it's at. So I'm gonna pour some sweet and sour onto my filet fish And this is going to be the ultimate filet fish hack, I hope at least. Zion. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, final thing left to try. Ryan, what do we got? Right here we have these spicy McNuggets, which is something I've heard so much about. One of my favorite creators has been resharing a lot of these. And so I just, I'm so pumped to finally try one of these. Now I'm a big fan of the Wendy's spicy nuggets. So we're gonna see if this holds up. Like Ryan, I was also influenced by um, one of our favorite creators to try these spicy nuggets. I don't think I've ever had them here from McDonald's before, but again, similar to Ryan, the Wendy's spicy nuggets are so good. My go-to order there. Mm. 
it's more cardboard like than a regular McNugget. I love McDonald's chicken nuggets. I think they have the best like regular nuggets in the game. But I don't think they do a spicy nugget well. Let's dip it in the sweet and sour though. Sweet and sour makes everything better. Well, we are not done just yet. I headed up to the little screens and placed an order for dessert. They just arrived at our table. Let me show you what we got. So here we have the chocolate corruption cake. And in this hand, we have the peanut butter cake. And these both look fantastic. Let me just tell you, the peanut butter in this cake smells so good. They both look really fudgy. And this one, peanut butter one, even has like brownie pieces on top. Oh. I can't, we're gonna have to try this peanut, peanut butter one right away. Oh baby. Let's get some of that peanut butter in there. Some of that little brownie. The peanut butter mousse situation that they've got going on in there is fantastic. Not dry at all. That peanut butter flavor, oh my God. They should serve this at every McDonald's. Ryan, you're gonna love this. Last thing, let's see if we could end up with a bang with this chocolate corruption cake. I don't know why it's called corruption, but it is. It's literally just the chocolate peanut butter cake without the peanut butter. Um, I'm not really a fan of the chocolate icing that they're using. It tastes very artificially. The cake itself is good. That peanut butter explosion cake is far better than this. Don't get this get that. So now that our bellies are full, we're going to head upstairs. And when have you ever seen an elevator in a McDonald's? So we have to take it, obviously. And there's drinks only available on the first level. In case you were all wondering, I knew you were. Here we are, second floor. We've got some beautiful murals. Greetings from Orlando, Florida. I see the Hamburglar over there and Mr. Ronnie. Um, but there is so much more to check out than just the murals on the wall. Oh my God, I've never actually been up here on the second floor. This is even way bigger than I expected. There are so many different games. Ryan, we're gonna have to play some. I wonder if they have like prizes. Do you think they have prizes here if you win? Is it like an actual arcade? Oh, we could pay $200. Oh my gosh, wait, I think we should do that one. <laughs> yeah, we should. Oh my God, is the cheapest thing you could get $25? We're not, we're not playing games. I'm not playing games, <laughs> if that's the case. I want to play like two games. You can do more. More? More? Oh, I they have that more. meant you would pay more. Four credits per dollar. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Okay, yeah. Then we need to do this one. Amount to pay, $10. That's $10 is my budget for the day. I refuse to spend any more than that. So $10 next. I can't even hit them. Oh my gosh. I haven't hit a single clown. There we go. Now I'm on a roll. Oh. That one almost came right back at me. Ryan, I need help. Help. I'm very competitive. Uh, Ryan cheated. I consider that cheating. So, um, yeah. Good game. Good game. Well, I played a tough game out there today. Um, I gave it my, my all. Um, uh, it was probably all the, the warm-ups I did beforehand. Little does Kristen know I showed up a little bit early, and I played at least eight rounds against children. Uh, won every single one of them, obviously. And one very important point to note about this world's largest entertainment McDonald's is that the play place is actually on the second floor. That's number two. And it's also at least 30 feet high. Look at that, that's insane. We decided against taking the dogs out and running around the playground today. I think there might be like a height limit or something. We definitely do not fit that. So yeah, we will not be playing in there today, but we did play in the arcade and we have something else cool up here that we're gonna show you. One really fun historical fact about this specific McDonald's is that it has an old animatronic of a McDonald's relic. Are you familiar with Mac Tonight? Mac Tonight is an old promotional character that McDonald's created in the 80s to promote them staying open late, or at least their drive through. And it was this character with this giant like crescent moon type face. He had glasses. This is clearly what he looks like. He also played like piano and he was just like tonight's show like band leader 
Like, that's kind of the gimmick that he was going for, like, for a Tonight Show type thing. And um, they made a few animatronics of him, and the only one that's left is here at the Epic McD's McDonald's. Make sure, while watching this video, you hashtag Epic <laughs> McDorl. <laughs> because they had to make sure people knew that. Unfortunately, he is no longer operational as an animatronic, but he still plays music. Uh, if you can't tell right now, he's playing a sped up version of Shout. That's like, throw your hands up. I can't, can't play it because YouTube, but yeah, fun, fun fact. Well, we have been getting serenaded by Mac tonight for far too long, and I think it's time to head out. We just ate at the world's largest McDonald's. Of course, when we're done, we're gonna head across the street to the Hulk Hogan's wrestling shop. Obviously. We just ate at the world's largest McDonald's. Of course they say they have all day breakfast, but they actually don't. We just ate at the world's largest McDonald's. Of course I'm gonna go take the world's largest McDump. We just ate at the world's largest McDonald's. Of course we ordered like the entire menu. Huge, huge shout out to all of my Patreon subscribers, Angela, Ashley, Barbara, the Cal Kane's family, Catherine, Lindsay, Misty, Shelby, Adam and Jen, and Brittany, Karis, Chelsea, Carol, Danielle, Marcel, Dante, Dustin and Nancy, Emily, Ethan, John Paul, Christina, Leah, Tori, Lisa, the Martell family, Michael, Pickle, the Latham Thomas family, Tracy, Wayne, Jermaine, Eric, the Weaver family, Stephen, Andrea, Jessica, the Lee Woods family, Abigail and Robin, and Jamie and Andrew. Well, this video is definitely a lot different from the videos that I typically make on this channel, but I had a lot of fun making it. I've been meaning to come over here and make a video for quite some time. Let me know down below in the comments if there is any other fast food restaurant or fast food type of challenge that you guys would like to see. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.